Hello, doers. My name is Jose Ignacio, and today we are turning up the heat. We are scheduling some activities, hopefully somewhere cold. Now, as most of us know, every day is filled with a laundry list of duties that need to get done. Keeping our to-do list organized is almost as important as doing the actual tasks. Without organization, we can't track our progress, and tasks will fail and fall always through the cracks, and they'll be forgotten. All of us have those. Now, scheduling activities in Odoo helps you tackle any to-do list and plan future tasks and duties for each record in the database. You can also see scheduled activities in the chatter section of each record. And isn't that dandy? Now, that makes it easy to follow what has been completed, and it also still shows you, you know, what needs to be done. And what needs to be done is always what you want to focus on. Now, I can even use activities to assign tasks to my other team members. And isn't that also very, very useful? Splitting the load, I always say. Now, activities ensure we're making progress on each record, and they keep my company running smoothly. So, as I always say, enough chit-chat. Let's dive into my database and see how easy it is to schedule activities with Odoo. Welcome back, Odooers. Here we are on our dashboard, our CRM dashboard to be specific. Now, no matter where I am in the database, I can view my assigned activities by clicking on the activities button in the top of the navigation bar. And what does this look like? Well, it's the little clock that we go up here. And then once that we click it, this little menu pops up. Now, this little menu is basically my running to-do list. The number next to the clock icon refers to how many activities are due today or are past their due date. As you can see, activities are organized by record type, such as a help desk ticket, a purchase order, and so much more. Now today, I wanna to focus on any activities I have for leads and opportunities. So what are we gonna click on? Now we're gonna click on the lead slash opportunities that we see on the list, click, and Odoo will take me to the My Activities page. Now on this page, I can see all my activities are connected to my CRM leads. Now, right now, it's filtered to only show activities that are due today or are overdue. In our case, we can also change that though. Now, if I wanna see my upcoming activities, all I have to do is click on the activities button again. So we're gonna go up here to the clock, click it, and we're gonna click the number next to the actual thing that says future. Now, once we click on future next to leads and opportunities, this option filters the My Activities page to only show future activities. And of course, if I wanted to see all my activities at once, regardless of their due date, all I'd have to do is delete future activities or any other filter from the search bar. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that one. And Odoo automatically shows me all of my activities now. And that concludes that part of the setup. But I think you can see something that I see and it's red and red is never good. It looks like this particular activity that was added was due two days ago. I should definitely prioritize it and get it done ASAP because it's Stealthy Wood. Speedy Service is our name. Now, let's click into the record. So we're gonna click the five VIP chairs and we need to check this out. Now, as usual, I can view scheduled activities for the record in the chatter over here to our right. And it looks like I was supposed to send an email to a client a couple days ago. No worries though. I can do that quickly by using the send message button. And if we click here into send message, we see our little options now. And the very first thing I wanna make sure is the box next to Azure Interior is checked. And then we'll type our little message now. But what will we type? In this case, thanks for reaching out to Stealthy Wood. I appreciate it. And we're done. So we're gonna click send. Now, that was easy. And now I can check this activity off my to-do list. And you're probably asking yourself, Jose, how do we do that? Well, it's pretty simple, you just click. Mark is done. Now, you'll notice that Odoo gives me the option to leave some feedback if necessary. Then I'd either click done or done and schedule next. I'm gonna go ahead and choose done and schedule next so that I can plan the next activity for this record right away. We don't wanna forget again. Now, since I created the activity, it is automatically assigned to me if you notice over here to the assigned to field. I can change this field to delegate the activity to a different person if I need to, but I'm gonna leave it as is for now. Now, the next thing I also wanna do is specify the activity type. Odoo comes pre-configured with some basic activity types. If we click on the activity type dropdown, you'll notice there's a big list. Now from this list, I'm gonna select call, but you can also make your own. You don't have to use these. 
Now, once that we're done here, I'm gonna wanna write a short summary so that I'm clear on exactly what I need to do. I don't wanna forget. In this case, discuss share options. And we're done. Now I have to specify a due date. And this is the date I wanna complete this activity by. In our case, we're gonna pick two days. And then once that's done on the calendar, we're pretty much set. Now, I also have the option to log a note, but I feel like the summary is enough. I'm very concise, very precise as well. So I'll go ahead and click schedule. And we're gonna select that. And when I do, you'll notice the new activity pops up in the chatter. If I ever need to edit the activity, I can always click on the edit button that we see right there. Now, if I had to cancel the activity for any reason, I can also click on the cancel option there. And of course, if I need to schedule another activity, I can simply click the schedule activity button at the top of the chatter and go from there. And wasn't that easy. Now, of course, some activities should have a custom activity type. Like I mentioned before, we can create custom activity types by opening the configuration menu up at the top and clicking into activity types. Now here at Stealthywood, we like to do product demos for potential clients. I already configured the call for demo and email welcome demo activity types earlier, but I remembered I should add one more custom activity type, schedule the actual demo. So let's go ahead and click create and we're gonna type schedule demo for the type. And I have some other options like classifying the action. In this case, if I click on action, uh, and a setting, or sorry, and setting a default user as well. Now, I can also set up an activity chain which links this activity type to others. I want Odoo to automatically schedule the email welcome demo activity type immediately after this activity type is completed. So I'll set the chaining type to trigger next activity, and then I'm gonna set the trigger to email welcome demo. And now we need a schedule as well. In our case, we're gonna set the schedule to zero days after completion date. Now, I'll quickly click on to save and go back to the opportunity to see it in action. In this case, what are we gonna do? We're gonna click on CRM to go back to the pipeline page. And next, we're gonna click into five VIP chairs. Now let's click the schedule activity button again over here, click and in the activity type dropdown, I can now click search more. And now we can find that custom activity that I just created. Now, if I click schedule demo, it sets it there. Now I'm gonna set the due date a little further in the future since I need to discuss chair options with the client first before offering a demo. So for here, we're gonna select three days from now. Now, once that we're done, I'm gonna go ahead and click save and that'll finish scheduling this activity, just like the default activity types. I can also reuse this custom activity type on any record. Now, whenever I go back to my pipeline by clicking over here to the CRM button, I can see that the five VIP chairs opportunity has a green activities button. This quickly lets me know that I have an upcoming activity planned for it. Now on other opportunities, we can see an orange activities button over here. This means it has an activity that's due today or is overdue in contrast, a gray activities button means there are no planned activities for that particular record. I can click the activities icon on the card to view or schedule activities. Now, if I, for instance, say click on the green activities icon on 5 VIP chairs, here we can see the activities that I just created for this opportunity and when they're due. I can even edit the activity if I select this button up here, or I can mark it as done if I select this button up here, or I can even schedule a new activity with just one click. And isn't that easy? Now, the very last thing I wanna do and show you is if I change my page to list view by clicking list view, I can sort the lines by their deadline by selecting the my deadline column. And this neatly, or, and this sets it up to a neat view that we can see all of our assigned activities through. Now, that concludes activities. Now, there you have it, Odoers. Just like that, I was able to quickly complete an activity and schedule another one for myself, all from the chatter with just a few clicks. Now, Odoo's efficient activities feature makes it very easy to view all of my assigned activities and the respective due dates. It frees up a ton of mental space, providing me with enough time and energy to knock everything on my to-do list. Now, 
Be sure to check out the other tutorials to learn about the other useful tools and features that can boost your overall productivity. Thank you for watching.